Hey, what's up guys? Sam here. And I'll be doing the free video for the last day of June 2023. So the quarter end is here and it is ending with a bang. I think the NASDAQ will go out the quarter up 40% for the first six months of the year, which is, um, I believe, a record. And pretty much everything decided to play ball today. So everything's going out really, really strong going into quarter end. And then uh, we have a holiday week next week. So part of me is going to think that we are going to see continuation next week. Um, if anything, just maybe a low volume kind of grind higher. But I do expect a little bit of volatility to come back into the market the week after next. So. Let's, uh, let's dive in. I'm going to cover some things here that uh, I covered in the premium video for the folks in the gold room. And a um, little bit of a kind of spoiler alert. There's not a lot of nuance to cover. Um, most things in this market are uh, just completely firing on all cylinders. So let's just kind of uh, double check our work here with you guys on the YouTubes. So let's start here with SPY, which is normally where we'd start. And uh, there was a very big level here on SPY came in roughly at 4.30. It was a previous high, as well as the 6.18 of the entire uh, bear market. So everything there lines up there at 4.30. And the reason that level's so big is because once you break a 6.18 level, um, that's, and, and especially because it's a previous swing high, um, it just basically clears the path back to the previous highs. If you look at this chart here, there really isn't a lot of resistance. There'll be a little bit of resistance, I suppose, right around these previous highs here, right around 460-ish uh, or so. But in reality, there's kind of just this blank space here, right, from where price is to where <clears throat> the previous high was. And in terms of the signals, there's just no warning signs whatsoever, right? Uh, you have uh, the high-low, you had nothing but buy signals there. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buy signals all through March and April, and that has not changed at all. You still have a very strong looking position here, a strong position here. Uh, all of this is a very strong position as well. And then if you look at the structure of the pattern, it didn't really even come down and test the 21. It got within, it got, it got close, but the it did not test the 21. And this is just an overwhelmingly strong pattern as well. So from if you look at price structure, or whether you look at the indicators, everything else is pretty much lined up in a very nice way. Um, so the main thing, the main takeaway here on SPY is just be aware of the blank space here um, from where price is to where price could go and the fact that there really isn't a lot of resistance between us. So let's, uh, let's move this over just a little bit. We'll go to the QQQ next. And um, since we already did the work in the premium video, we looked at uh, HYG, which I would advise that you look at. If HYG continues going higher, it's kind of the one missing element of this market that'll really help take the top off the thing. Um, but if we just focus here on the indexes like we will for this video, everything's completely aligned, right? So here's the QQQ, next target on the Qs is going to be right here at this uh, 786 retracement. And then from there again, you're going to have another blank space, right? It'll be the title of the video. So you're going to have resistance there. That's the 786 of the entire drop. Be aware of that level, 375.66. So at this rate, it could get there next week. And then above that, pretty much just uh, no resistance until you get back to the highs. Very strong readings here on the indicators. Same same buy signals back in March, and nothing really has changed here. Structure is good, indicator is good. Know your level of resistance, 375.65, and you can't look at this as an, anything other than a bull market as long as the QQQ is above 350. Once if it gets below 350, then it's a different ball game. But as long as it's above 350, this thing is gunning for the highs and. If you look around at the peripheral parts of the market, even the parts of the market that are like the bottom of the barrel that nobody wants, you know, things like IWM and RSP, um, HYG, even those are starting to come around. So the good get gooder <clears throat> and the bad get less bad. 
and that's quite bullish. So I'll close the video here um, with a couple of, uh, I'll throw a couple pictures away. We don't do this all the time on the YouTubes, but why not? So these are mostly due to some of the members in the room bringing these up. <clears throat> they have become quite good at finding good stocks. Now, I am waiting on most of these until next week to pick them up, but I could certainly make a case to pick them up even sooner. So this is one that came up in the room. Um, you're starting to get kind of the home, everything related to homes kind of bouncing back pretty strongly. You know, if you need a narrative, which you shouldn't, but if you do, it seems that the market is uh, kind of reflating because the Fed is a baby and uh, will never actually do anything to hurt the market. So the market was like, oh, well, if that's the case, let's reflate. So there's actually a setup going in next week that you can start to see commodities bounce back. Commodities have been in the dumps for a very long time. And I do think that oil has potentially made a bottom. So anything that's inflationary, right, homes, um, commodities, industrials, materials, banks, um, we might start to see some rotation into that stuff. So this was one good example that came up um, is FND the floor and decor and really just the takeaway from this one is the weekly pattern right this weekly pattern is extremely potent everything's lined up there weekly squeeze and then you can see just a very clean level to break out from here right around 100 kind of have like this uh, double bottom kind of thing with the higher low cup and handle whatever you want to call that it's all bullish so I like uh, August calls on FND ideally on a pullback but if you choose to chase it I wouldn't blame you uh, another one that came up in the room was Honeywell. Now I definitely do need to pull back on this one, but a very clean month, uh, weekly signals here. So you're going to see kind of a theme in that uh, a lot of the weekly charts here that I'm going to show you are uh, kind of the key triggers for this. Now, full disclosure here, even though I'm trying to work a Honeywell entry in the room um, at, on a pullback, the XLI actually looks better than this. So if you can ever buy, uh, you know, the XLI is the sector, Honeywell is the stock. If the sector looks better than the stock, you should probably just buy the sector, right? So full disclosure there, XLI does look significantly better than this, but it's one in the same. And the pattern here is basically just this signal again um, to see if it can take the top off. Of course, you're going to know about the FANG stocks. We don't need to cover any of those. I think, you know, you know you know about the top seven stocks. You know about uh, NVIDIA and Tesla and Apple and um, Amazon and Google. Um, one, a couple more that I'll kind of leave in your dish here. Um, and these are going to be towards the bottom end. Well, this one's, this one's different. The one I'm about to show you here, which is RIG. Um, this is just a play on the potential that oil has made a low. And I came into today wanting to buy it. And then I looked away for half a second and then it was up 10%. But uh, you can see the pattern here. This is probably the cleanest one I've shown you so far. This weekly pattern is just really ideal, right? And you, you find, you'll find that trading is really, a lot of it's repetitive. So you're just going to be doing the same thing over and over again, which is okay. But the pattern I'm looking for is a slingshot squeeze. The trend oscillator to look like that, green above magenta, and then these mid-level green arrows are the most yummy thing possible. So the signal when you look at it in, in totality, this is what it is. Super clean. I think rig gets back to ten dollars on this signal. And then a couple of the uh, the junky stocks. So I'll just throw a couple your way. There's a million of these. Um, keep an eye on them. Things like Unity. You're starting to see kind of bottoms develop here. Of course, you do need pullbacks on these. These are very extended. And then one more that I think works extremely well, even though I fully recognize these are like bottom of the barrel stocks. They do not look as good as Apple, but you know, these 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 stocks here, these last two that I've shown you, Unity and Redfin and Zillow and Shopify and Snow and Mara, there's a hundred of them. Um, these can really start to work too but you do need to pull back on them because they've had a decent run. So this one's probably the most explosive one that I see, which is Redfin. It's showing some significant bottoming signals here that it hasn't shown two, three years. Right, and I'll just give you, I'll just give you the example here. Hopefully you can see it. 
you see this moment in time right here where the green went below the red below the red and do you see how this moment in time here it's now shifted that's from 2001 or excuse me 2021 to 2023 this was a two year dead zone and you can see it in the high low as well right you see these cell signals from back here you see how you don't get any signals at all for two years and then you get a bunch of signals all at once so again these are going to be very highly levered kind of uh, uh, more explosive names um, it's not going to be as consistent as something like Apple but it'll also be a lot more explosive so kind of understand kind of the full spectrum here of what we're saying this is probably the longest YouTube video simpler trading has ever made unintentionally but expect some level of rotation right um, into inflationary things commodities industrials materials banks um, on pullbacks I think these kind of high beta high short interest tech stocks can be bought as well and for consistency sake which there's a lot to be said for that uh, industrials look the best out of the inflation sectors and the FANG stocks will continue to look the best out of the uh, uh, the technology sectors. All right, guys, that's my time. Longest video I think we've ever made on the YouTube. So if you uh, stuck around till the end, do leave us a like, uh, leave us a comment as well. It does, as always, help us out with the algorithm. Helps us get the message out there. So if you found it helpful, just leave us a thumbs up in the in the messages or let us know uh, what you're having tonight. Um, in terms of food or drink, I think I am going to go have myself a double entree at my favorite Mexican spot. And then I'm going to come home, eat about a half a gallon of ice cream, and make myself about 12 peanut butter cookies. So if somebody can beat that, if you're having more food than I am tonight, let me know in the chat. And I'll hope to see you again next week. Have a great weekend, guys. Cheers. Hey traders, this is Sam with Simpler Trading. I want to thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully you found the information in it helpful. If you did, leave us a like, leave us a comment. It really does help us out with the algorithm. And if you want to see us trade live with our own real money and be part of the community, come and check us out at simplertrading.com.